So John Delaney, who is shockingly still running for president, <laughs> released another terrible policy that I have to share with you. He tweeted this. Today, I'm announcing my plan for a mandatory national service program. <laughs> I have so much to say about this. First, let me give you some of the details. Every American will complete a minimum of one year and maximum of two years of mandatory national service when they graduate high school or turn 18. The national service requirement will apply to individuals born after 2006, but will phase in over time. To meet the national service requirement, participants, participants can choose one of four options. Serving in our nation's military, the requirements and duration will continue as they currently exist. Serving in a new expanded community service program. Serving in a new national infrastructure apprenticeship program. Serving in a newly created climate corps. Thanks, I hate it. So here's why I this is so frustrating. Pete Buttigieg came out with a similar program, a national service program. Here's why I hate this. We pay taxes to our government. Now, in the United States of America, let's keep it real, man. We don't get much for those taxes. I would love it if we did. Some of the things we pay for, I'm cool with. I like Social Security. I like Medicare. I like Medicaid. I like unemployment insurance. There's certain things that, you know, we pay our taxes and we go, oh, okay, that's cool. I like it that it's going to that. I'm, I'm okay with that from a moral perspective, from an ethical pers perspective, from a practical perspective. That makes sense to me. So much of our money, so much of it, goes towards illegal offensive wars against countries that didn't attack us, drone strikes, empire building, Wall Street bailouts, um, pork barrel projects. So much of what we pay for is stuff that we hate. We also pay, and we haven't had an upgrade to our infrastructure since, like, FDR. We have the New Deal, and then all the other generations are coasting off of the massive success of the New Deal, and we're not doing a serious infrastructure project. So, we pay our government, and by and large, our government puts its middle finger up at us and says, fuck off. You know... They are corrupted. They are bought by corporations. They are bought by billionaires and special interests. And they're doing the bidding of those special interests. And they're not doing our bidding. That's been proven. There was a Princeton study that proved it. That if you're part of the bottom 80% of income earners, your will is not reflected at all in Washington, D.C. So, given that that's the system, it is beyond infuriating that this guy wants us to vote for him, and then he turns around when he's in office. LOL, that's never going to happen, but I digress. If he were to hypothetically, theoretically get in office, he turns around and he goes, Okay, now I'm going to tell you what to do. No, let me explain something to you. We voted for you, you represent us. That's what your job is supposed to be, to represent us, to represent the American people, to be a medium for our will. That's your job. That's what you're supposed to do. John Delaney flips it. John Delaney goes, okay, cool. Now, anyway, so now I have all this power and I have all this control. I'm going to make you do stuff. You're going to make us do stuff. You don't even do the bare minimum for us when we pay you. We pay the government. And we get Dickie McGee's act for it. We get stuff we hate. Now, listen, if our tax money went towards healthcare, if our tax money went towards free college, if our tax money went towards an infrastructure project and a Green New Deal, I would love paying taxes. I'd be, I'd do it with a smile on my face because I know I'm rebuilding my country and I'm making it beautiful and I'm helping people out and isn't that wonderful? I'm not an asshole. I know that if we're paying for things that make sense, it would be glorious. I would bask in it. But we don't have that situation. We pay for stuff we hate and then this guy gets light and goes, I know I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not representing you, but here's the deal. You just voted for me. Now here, you have to do X, Y, and Z. How about you fuck right off? How about that? Gonna make us do shit. Are you kidding me? You're gonna, you're gonna make us do shit. It's mandatory that you have to do X, Y, and Z. Mandatory. Mandatory my ass cheeks. Fuck off, son. You're never gonna get elected. Nor should you. Mandatory. I'm gonna make you take a year of your life and do what I want you to do. 
Fuck off. I know the whole idea behind a national service program is supposed to be to build, like, some sort of national unity and to make it so that, oh, we all feel like we're one and we're all Americans and isn't that wonderful and isn't that glorious? And we met people from different backgrounds and races and religions and, and isn't it all glorious? You know a better way to build national unity? Do what the people want in a democracy. Then you don't need to force them to try to do stuff they don't want to do to try to fakely build national unity. Do Medicare for all, do free college, do a living wage, end the wars, do a Green New Deal, do a giant jobs program, legalize marijuana, free all the nonviolent drug offenders. You want to create some national unity? Do some popular stuff with our money that we pay you. Don't take our money and then turn around and go, okay, thank you. Now I'm going to make you do stuff for me. What are we, slaves? <laughs> Sorry, I know you paid me and I know I'm not doing what you want me to do and that's my job, but you're, you're going to do what I want you to do. God, he's so smug. Oh, he's such an asshole. Oh, he's so disconnected. And I guarantee you, if he were to somehow stumble across this video and watch this video, he would be shocked and chagrined, and he'd be like, Oh! What a rude young man! How impolite of this man! What's his name? Oh, I cannot believe the foul language that he uses! I will overlook every single argument he made, even though he's totally right, but wow, his language?! Oh, this ruffian! How is he part of the national discourse? Unbelievable! Have fun polling at 0%, son. Have fun polling at 0%. If you can go lower, you'd go lower. That's for sure. Nobody asked for this. Nobody wants this. He fear mongers about Medicare for All. Medicare for All polls at 70%. Let's poll your shitty national service plan and see what it comes out at, huh? How about that? Hey, like them apples. You want to do that? Because <laughs> the second we get the answer on that, he would then proceed to ignore the poll and act like it didn't happen. Oh, my national uh, service thing pulled at 13%. That's, uh... Medicare for all is not popular, even though it is. I'm John Delaney. I don't know why I'm still in the race.